Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, August 25th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us or Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, the last three days, we have been falling off a cliff. But now it looks like we're finding support here at the 20 exponential moving average as we have pulled back quite a bit. If we drop below the simple moving average, then the 50 moving average come in, comes into play and the 300 bottom of the bullish band and then the 200 moving average so quite a lot of support underneath and we're still making lower highs so if we rally from here then it will be one two three and four uh, lower basically lower high step and that is uh, a sign that we are going to continue going higher so we still have a crossing year of the 50 and the 200 and that usually is a sign that in the long run we are going to see this market continue going higher. MACD is still uh, is crossing the signal line, becoming bearish. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So due to the fact that we have fallen quite significantly the last three days, these indica indicators show that momentum is definitely to the downside. So let's look at oil. So oil has absolutely been hammering it the last two trading days, up with more than 5% yesterday and more than 3% today. And there is uh, literally no pullback here. So if we break below above the um, simple moving average, then the 50 moving average comes into play at uh, roughly 70.50. And then above that, we have uh, roughly 73.74. MACD is still bearish, but it is turning around and may cross the signal line. Stochastic is very bullish, and so is the RSI. If we get rejected here, then we will most likely drop back towards the 200 moving average down at 60.5. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas has just been going sideways the last few trading days, and at the moment, it kind of looks like it is running out of momentum, um, even though weather conditions in the United States still are not, the, or technically around the world, are still really warm. Um, demand for this should be going up, and we did bounce significantly from the 50 moving average, but it has not really taken off. We did rally up towards our simple moving average today and then pull back, and uh, if you look at technical indicators, they're not very helpful either. Uh, MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So it's kind of waiting. Game. If we break above the simple moving average here, we may go to the very top at roughly 4.1, break below the 50 moving average, then 3.5, and all the way down to the 50 move, 200 moving average at roughly 3 will most likely come into play. So let's look at copper. So copper has had three really good days, but now it kind of looks like momentum is, well, stalling right here. We we're up today, but we ran into major resistance at the 50 moving average right here at roughly 4.3, uh, give or take. MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is uh, bullish as well. Break above the 50, then we may go uh, all the way up towards 4.5 and then 4.5 and even more higher than that at 4.6 give or take but get rejected here then we will easily drop back towards the 200 moving average so let's look at gold so gold has been really tricky so this has been going back and forth back and forward and now it kind of looks like we are running into major resistance at the 200 moving average so it really took off um it took off um yesterday and today it has been going back and forth roughly here at the 200 moving average, but ended up in red. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is flat at this point. If we get rejected here, then we may drop back to the 50, then the very bottom here at 70, 78, and then very well to the very bottom. I thought it was going to get really rejected here, but it completely took off to the upside and went definitely the wrong way. But this should say something. Um, I would be very surprised if we did not go and retest this level again before continuing higher. So let's look at silver. So silver has also rallied the last two day days. Nothing really impressive because uh, it's just more of the same. Rallying up towards the 20, 
breaking down rally up 20 breaking down and now rallying again to the 20 can we get past here maybe but we are we're crossing here first of all of the 15 and 200 and then the 50 and the 300 and that is not a very good sign for for silver as this shows that should show that this is uh um, should be going um for the next few months to the opposite direction and basically down last time we had a crossing of these two moving average was all the way back here june last year and then we had this massive rally to the upside and basically were going back and forward and testing all the way up towards the 30 dollars but since then we have been declining and we have these crossings yet again and that should mean that we either have a massive fall or a gradual grind to the downside before going back up macd is bullish stochastic is bullish and so is the rsi so let's look at platinum no so so platinum very similar here we have been rallying up towards the 20 exponential breakdown rally up to 20 and we got really rejected today and that is not a very good sign this could mean that we'll fall back towards support down here at roughly uh, 960 however technical indicators are fairly bullish macd is bullish stochastic is bullish and rsi is flat at this point so if you fall then we need to break below this and then we'll probably go all the way down to 900 and probably even lower than that we also have a crossing here at the 50 and 200 and most likely also the 50 and the 300 and uh, uh, very similar the last crossing was all uh, all the way back here last august when we had this massive rally to the upside and now we're witnessing most likely witnessing the opposite happening so pallium so pallium has rallied the last uh, two trading days it's not uh, surprising after this massive fall here we saw a very similar move here rallied up towards the 50 then broke down again rallied to the 50 and then broke down again and now kind of looks like we're going back towards at least the middle of the bullinger band or probably towards 50 and question is whether or not we get rejected yet again macd is still very bearish sarcastic is bullish and the rsi is bullish as well break below this area roughly 2250 which was major support in last year and then this could drop very low all the way back to way back down towards 1800 and and lower than that so we have not had a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average but that is not a good sign if that happens so aluminium aluminium is uh, doing the same thing it is still in a really nice upward trend uh, bouncing off the 50 moving average um, basically every single time could break below but still then we bounce off the bottom of the bullish band so we could get rid uh get overstretched here and then we bounce overstretched and bounce but otherwise 50 moving average has been very stable and so has been uh, the 20 exponential at the moment macd is uh, bearish so casting is bullish and rsi is flat at this point we could see this uh, pull back towards the 50 down here at the 25 10 before going higher so let's look at nickel so nickel has rallied up towards the middle of the bullish band and got really rejected there if we get a uh, red candlestick here tomorrow break below this uh, lower part of this uh, candlestick then we are most likely going back toward very lows here macd is a bearish the candlestick is bullish and rsi is flat so it kind of looks like we are changing direction uh we still have this if we have of this bottom kind of we need to break this uh, support line in order to go lower but uh it is struggling uh, it hit 20k and then got rejected last time we hit 20k we really fell off a cliff we had a gradual grind up to 20k and then also got rejected so it's going to be interesting whether or not we break this line because then we could drop all the way down to the 200 moving average probably 300 moving average as well so let's look at sugar so sugar is uh, finding support down here roughly at uh, 0 0.1943 and uh, at this current stage not looking very bullish but as we are stabilizing here it is a sign that we could go higher macd is bearish sarcastic is bearish and rsi is flat at this current stage so uh, resistance should be around 0 0.233 
and support down here at 1950 and then 1804. So let's look at cotton. So cotton really bounced from the uh, 20 exponential. It's doing the same thing and has been doing for months now. Um, ever, since, ever since we broke above the 50 moving average here, we have been bouncing off the 20 exponential over and over and over again. And uh, we are, if we manage to break above here, which we kind of are doing at the moment, then this could very likely go significantly higher. It's definitely an uptrend has been for a very, very long time. And it has occasionally had these massive rallies and then broke it down. But still, we are trending to the upside. So let's look at Cocoa. Always fun to look at Cocoa because this is a market that completely goes bananas from time to time. So we had a massive rally here from 22.30 all the way up towards 26.77, fell off a cliff and then found support yet again at 25.32. Uh, so question is whether or not we manage to break above this candlestick kind of here or then go higher or we break below here and go towards 20 and all the way down back towards the very bottom. Um, technically still, technically, technically still in a downtrend. This could be a breakout if we bounce from the 20 exponential, then we could be going higher. But if we break below these moving averages again, then we are most likely going to drop back to the worst of very low. If you look at MACD, it's still bullish. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at wheat. So wheat is, um, well, just hanging around here at the 20 exponential. We fell towards roughly 710, uh, found support yet again for the third time. That's a good sign for support and then rallied. We're still on up in red, but as we found support here, which also was massive support here and also massive resistance here, that's a good sign that we may go towards the upside. MACD still is bearish, the classic is bearish and RSI is flat. Break below here and the 50 moving average comes into play, break above the middle of the bullish band, then we could go back towards the very highest here of uh, 770. So, hope you found this helpful. If you want to support your job, subscribe and hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us on Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.